Hello guys, today I will learn you how to connect Factory.io with Arduino. So Factory.io is this industrial simulation hardware that you can connect with controllers. It's mainly set up to connect with PLC controllers, so programmable logical controllers. And these controllers are specifically used in industry. So these are the controllers used in factories. For example, you can drive a scene by drivers and drive it with an Allen Bradley PLC or with a Siemens PLC or a Siemens logo or some other kind of automation stuff. You can also use a Modbus TCP IP server. This one we will use to connect the Arduino to Factory.io. With Arduino I mean the Arduino Uno, Nano or Mega. I didn't test any other Arduinos but maybe it will work also for other Arduinos. So this is one scene. First we'll give a demo. I will use another scene for the demo. So I will open the file I already made. So this is scene 3 and it's filling off the tank. The tank has to fill for 8 seconds. I already wrote the code and uploaded it to the Arduino. So this is my control logic. And then you also have to run this exe file. takes a while. And if you run this, you have this beautiful designed window and you have to use the COM port of your Arduino, in my case it's COM6 and this IP address is uh, the default IP address to Factory.io so don't change it, you have to close it. Now you can see I'm connected to COM6. Minimize that and if you press play now and if you press the fill button, the tank will fill for 8 seconds and the fill valve is now open and after 8 seconds it will close. If you press the discharge button, the discharge button, oh, you have to press a little bit longer, the discharge button will open, the discharge valve will open and also the light will work. First of all you have to download Factory.io and install it. After you did that, you open Factory.io and you come to this screen. And we're gonna go to Scenes and open Scene 2 from A to B. These are predefined scenes with uh, challenges you can do. So this one is an easy one and it's just to show you how to set it up. But you can solve all the challenges with this method. So we open it and then we're gonna look around. So you have this entry conveyor. You have a sensor A, a conveyor, and a sensor B. So you can see sensor A is yellow. This is because it's uh, true now. And that's because it sees the reflector. So it's true when there's no box in front of it, and false when there's a box in front of it. And it's important that you know that for writing your logic. If you don't see these tags, you have to here press this little icon to see the actuator text. Actuators are the outputs and this one for the sensor text. Sensor text are the inputs. If you press play on this scene, you can see the entry conveyor already starts running. But there is no logic attached to this scene. This is because this is forced. Uh, it's not a bug, it's a feature, so it will help you to solve this scene so that's why Factory.io uh, forced this entry conveyor for you. So you only have to worry to get the box onto the conveyor and from the conveyor to the end and then it has to stop. So the conveyor doesn't have to run in the beginning when it sees sensor A that there's a box in front of it. It has to start to run and it has to stop when the box is at sensor B. First of all, we're gonna set up the drivers to connect with our Arduino. So you go to File and then press Drivers. And drivers are the one that's driving the scene. Select the Modbus TCP IP server. And then you come to this and then you go to Configuration. And you set it up like this. So host is by default this IP address. Port, slave ID 2. 
this U is normally for everyone the same. And then we have 16 digital inputs, 16 digital outputs, 8 register inputs and 8 register outputs. The registers, inputs and outputs are actually analog inputs and analog outputs. So, or you know, go back, 5 press arrow, and it will look like this. So in your Arduino you can also um, use all the inputs and outputs. In the Arduino they will call factory IO input 0. So here you can connect sensor A but you could also connect sensor B. Make sure you connect sensor A. If you open the scene by default it's already uh, good. You also have a tag factory IO running as an input. Um, you can leave it there but I don't use it. You can see the entry conveyor is not used because it's forced, so only the conveyor. So we have two inputs, sensor A and sensor B, and a conveyor. You can see there are one already and the conveyor is zero because there's nothing happening in the sketch yet. We go back and that was our setup in Factory IO. To set up the Arduino you have to download some firmware code. You have to go to my project page on X3IO or Arduino you can choose. And you can find the link for this in the description below. So here you can find a written guide with some extra details, how to set things up and so on, and some extra info. And below you have the code. And here you have Arduino link to factory IO scene 2. We will use this so we don't have to code anything right now in this video. You download it, it will open, open the map. And then it's very important you unzip it. You can open a sketch without unzipping it, but it will give uh, library errors. So first of all, extract all, extract. And then we're gonna open the scene. If you open the code, you will notice these tabs above. These tabs are for communication with Modbus and some setup parameters for factory IO. You don't have to change anything in these steps, only in the main code. You can see here that we include factory IO point H. This is this code file. So don't change anything here. First of all, we define our variables. Then we run our void setup. And this is already there, also in the empty sketch. And then we will run our void loop. First of all, we will read our factory IO inputs. We can write our main control logic and then we will write our factory IO outputs. This is a good practice for every code to first read the inputs, run the control logic and write the outputs. You can see in the comments which variables are for factory IO. So these are predefined in the other tabs. So factory IO input 0 is input 0 for factory IO and in this case sensor A is connected to it. Sensor B is connected to factory IO input 1 and if you see here factory IO coil 0 is connected to the conveyor. So the code is if sensor A is low the conveyor will be high and the conveyor will start running and if sensor B is low the conveyor will be low. This is low and not high because the sensors are uh, 1 when they see a, the reflector and 0 when they see a, the box. After our code, we will write our output, so factor IO equal 0 to conveyor. So this is the code. It's very important to not use delays in your code. This is because otherwise the Modbus protocol will register it as an error because it will time out. After that, we upload it to the Arduino and then we are ready to connect the Arduino with Factory.io. To make the connection possible between the Arduino and Factory.io, you need a script running on your computer. So I wrote the script using Python and I made an .exe file from it. So you don't need to know Python or anything about it to run the script. You can run it on any computer. You download it. After it's done downloading, you open it and you run the script. Because I wrote the script 
Windows doesn't know it's safe. So you have to go to more info and then you will see it's because it's from an unknown publisher and you have to run it anyway. Maybe I will later call to Bill Gates to fix this for me. But for now you have to do it this way. You select the COM port the Arduino is connected to and this IP address is the default IP address of Factory I.O. Then you close the window you will see it's connected to COM6 and it already read some inputs that are the sensors A and B that are now true. So when it changes status, it will uh, read the inputs. After that is done, it's important you leave the script open. And normally, if you look at your Arduino, you will see the RX and TX pins rapidly flashing. So you minimize this window and you open factory IO. If you now press play, the entry conveyor will run because it's forced. You see sensor A, the conveyor will run until it reaches sensor B. In the next video we will use some inputs for the Arduino so we can drive the virtual scenes with actual physical inputs and we will solve scene 3. It is an interesting scene because you will need some interrupts because you can't use the delay functions in the Arduino. If you don't want to miss that video, please subscribe. And also, I make some other videos about Arduino projects and open PLC. So if you want to learn the logic they use in PLCs and the languages, you can also check it out on my channel.